Hey everyone, it's Makeup Animal, and um, I just want to share with you some things that I got from Hard Candy. And um, if you've been watching other people's videos on Hard Candy, um, you may already know that um, they used to be sold in Sephora and Ulta and things like that. And um, they used to be like okay and um, not really high end, but okay. Now, they're exclusively sold in um, Wamak, um, aka Walmart. At first, I walked past and I was like, ooh, what is this? Like, they had like this section that was like this wide, and that's it. And it was just full of just like glittery stuff. So, you know, um, apparently it's like geared toward um, teenage girls, so hence all the glitter and crazy colors and stuff like that so I chose I chose things that you know may work the best for me or, and you know look okay and not too crazy you know I like my eyes to be crazy but I don't like my face to be crazy too much you know um, I didn't want to pay for too much for things um I don't know where I put this receipt but, you know, I'll just, you know, put the prices in the sidebar. Yeah, I got it right? Yeah? Okay. Prices may vary. Um, prices may vary, um, but uh, the prices that were on the website, I think that was, those are the prices I paid. I paid like 6 7 and 8 I forgot what which one I paid for each. I think this one was 6 and um, this one was eight, and then this one was seven. I'm not sure, but I know it was six, seven, eight, and it came out to be like twenty dollars. And I already showed you what I bought, so yeah. Um, I got the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer, and I got the um, Blush Crush Baked Blush in Living Doll 125, and I got the Ginormous Lash volumizing mascara in carbon black and now let me first start with this primer a few people have like anyone that's gotten the hard candy they've probably gotten the primer and um you know i wish i kind of didn't buy it because it's weird like um you know i've heard that you can use it as a moisturizer but it's not a very good primer right now i'm using max prep and prime and, you know, I love it. My foundation stays on my face and, you know, blushes are, you know, vibrant and whatever. But with this, this is kind of a different story. Like, the consistency of the Prep and Prime is more like a lotion. And this is kind of weird, like, if you can see it out the bottle. It's kind of chunky. Um, that's the consistency right there. And it's like kind of weird going to face. I had a glob on this morning, and I tried to put it on my face, and just went boop, like right on my face. But yeah, it's really weird. Like it's not a really, it's not a really good primer. It's okay. Like your foundation and stuff will stay on for a little bit, but not too long. But I've heard that this is a really good moisturizer for sensitive skin. Um, it says um, ultra light formula, and. It's really weird, like, it creates a really, like, weird but good canvas for on your face. Like, everything is just so smoothed out and smooth, really smooth skin. Yeah. Um, I don't recommend this too much. Um, I forgot whose video I watched, but she had, like, sensitive skin, and she said she liked to use this as moisturizer. So I guess it can be a moisturizer. Not so good on priming. Okay, next is this blush in Living Doll, and I love this color. Um, I guess it's named Living Doll because if you put it on cheeks, it's like a doll color. For the most part, I like it. A lot of the powder stuff for the new hard candy line, they say that you have to use water with them, and I think that's kind of cheeky because, like, there's there's a lot of shadows that you can just use primer with and just put straight in your face, like the 120 Pro palette. But like the colors, I forgot the fascinating or illuminize or something. 
um, the, the eyeshadow duos and like the, these, they all say use water with them. It even says so right here. Apply dry for a soft and delicate look and use wet for intense dramatic color. And, you know, like I said, so right here, they, we love our animals, we don't test on them. Um, so yeah, that's a plus, they don't test on animals. Okay, dry. I think my brush dried off by now. But let me just swipe into this. Uh, you can, I guess you can kind of see it. I, I swipe it a lot. But let me swipe it on my hand, and this has nothing on it. And then let me just swipe that in. And it's like virtually like nothing. But then let me just, um, I have one in my cheeks right now. And it like it's like shiny. Let me just swipe it through again. And then like a whole bunch of powder comes off. And then spray with Fix Plus or I guess dip in water. I haven't tried water. Just spray it with Fix Plus. And then let me now put this on my hand again. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see. But you can really see that like you can really see like a tint on my hand now. And it's like pink. And it'll really give you a nice shine. So I guess this is better for um more more for highlighting, but I guess you can use it as a blush. And it really does give you like a doll like cheek color. And yeah. The only thing about this while using it wet, um, I noticed I was like, oh, it's hard candy, so when I put on my cheeks wet, it feels sticky, like it's actually candy, like I'm brushing on my cheeks. But yeah, that, there's that. It's a really nice blush color. I just, you know, would only use it when I have the time to use it. It's not a kind of blush I would be using in a rush. Last, what I have is Ginormous Lash Volumizing Mascara in Carbon Black. I mean, they don't give me ginormous lashes, but they give me a really good, a really small eyelashes, if you can see. This mascara um, doesn't really volumize that much, just a little bit, not too much, not like thick, thick, thick. But it defines, and you know, it's not all hard, it's like, like I have two coats on, and it's still soft, and I believe it holds your curl, because... One day I wore it for a long time and it helped my curl, but I don't wear this that often. This is a brush tip and it's plastic, but um, it's a really good shape. Um, it's like tapered at the end and um, you know, you can really define your lashes with it. It's just plastic, kind of like lash blast. Kind of just like, you know, put it on like regular mascara, whatever. And it defines. And the good thing about this brush, I notice, you know, like the Givenchy mascara, where it's just a ball. Well, this is just like a tip. You know, if you miss a spot in between, you can just take it, take the tip, and just paint on the eyelash individu individually. And yeah, um, you know. Cons about this, this is really, really, really messy. Um, I didn't notice this until today, but, um, you know, there was like a little bit of product around the rim, and I was like, what the freak? And earlier I was using it, and I was just like, I just put it away, and I'm just like, whatever. Then when I looked at it again, there was like, it was all goopy all over the rim and I was like oh my gosh so I wiped it off with a tissue and there was like so much product on there and I wasted so much product see it's coming out right there you can see and yeah it does take a long time to dry that's the bad things about it so yeah that's it for my hard candy haul I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this um slightly informed you a bit if you if you have your own opinions about them, you know, just let me know down below. And, you know, I'll chat with you and um, we'll share our opinions on them. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.